Um, should I go get some other stuff Gloria sent me so we could try it all out to together? Don't mind me. I'm just, uh, I'm just carrying some average, ordinary amounts of keyboard shit. <laughs> Please hold. Now you're a real gamer? I know, I can just flex on all the kids on my TikTok. So here we have the glorious keyboard case. So we have some scabs. I have the switch puller, which is what I went to go get. Don't mind the dust. Um, it's not there. We have switch plates in poly and brass, I think they gave me. Coiled cable could actually do with that. And a keycap pull. Also, I should say, you know, I'm kind of joking around, etc. I am genuinely quite grateful that Gloria sent me all this. This is a lot. Brass plate is $40. PC plate is $20. Keycap sets, I have one of those, $50. Knobs are $10. Cables are $50. Not gonna lie, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of money for these brass plates, especially since they're punch cut. Air switch puller, $12. Stabilizers, $15. Carrying case, about to show you that. 25 very decent price. Keycap puller, $10. Kinda spicy, but not too bad. Loop brush, $5. Standard. Loop station, $35. <laughs> the panda toy, the most important part of the entire haul, obviously. $13. I kind of, I've been itching to open this ever since I got it in. Can I open this? Here's the panda toy. It's kind of squishy, actually. Can you see that? Oh my god, they made a panda toy with flex! They know us! They know us, chat! They know the hobby! Right. Went through a lot of effort to keep it so you guys could see the packaging, so you better fucking appreciate it. But this is gonna look a little bit familiar to you. Hmm. Uh, but I mean, if the only thing we have to nitpick over it is a switch, uh, is a switch puller, then we're doing pretty all right. All right, here is our $10 keycap puller. The pricing is a little high on these, I think. Okay, let's look at the cable, shall we? So here's our cable. This is actually looking pretty promising. It looks like it has kept flex. Looking a little better than those Asini ones off of Amazon. Those frankly kind of terrible Asini ones. Uh, so yeah, we have a uh, aviator. I'm gonna stretch it. You're not supposed to stretch these. I'm gonna stretch it to see how well it's coiled. It looks like it's pretty solid, but... Yeah, it's mostly all right. <laughs> Generally speaking, uh, the original intention was so that you could swap out your ends. So for instance, with my Limo cable, I have multiple ends that all attach to the same cable. So when I have to use other boards, I don't have to unplug and replug in a cable. I don't have to have multiple cables. I just pop a new one in, it's no big deal. But obviously in this context, it's kind of just for aesthetics. Oh, okay. I don't use wrist rest. Did they really make a wrist rest that doesn't? <laughs> I understand. I understand. Like the the idea is that if it's it's like in between everything, and so it works. I understand, but there's a part of me that's a little bit. That would bug me so much. The case. I actually think this one is probably pretty decent value. Um, I feel like cases. I don't buy keyboard cases, but I feel like keyboard cases within the hub usually run in the forty to sixty dollar range for TX cases and other other cases. And so this one's twenty five carrying case, twenty five. All right. So here's the glorious keyboard case. What size is the case apart? I mean, we'll see. I assume it's for uh, anything GM Pro sized and below. It's just an assumption though. Looks like it'll be about right as well. So it's got the embossed fabric. I actually love it. I'm such a sucker for embossing on, on fabric, so I quite like that actually. There you go. Alright. So it's fine. I think it's probably about on par with the Novel Keys cases. So this is the Novel Keys case. It is quite frankly, I think literally the same case. I think there's maybe only slight differences between the two. Let's take a look at their switch opener. So I'm expecting this to be similar to the $12 one from... Oh, oops. Nah, 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 this is not a good idea, actually. This will not last. So this is just plastic. Um, it's $10. It's a lot of money for injection molded plastic. Let's try opening a switch with it first. Eh. Uh. 
Uchiha Uchi 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 DWK Switch, so it's kind of unfair, I guess. Okay, and it doesn't really work. <laughs> nice. Let me try it with a let me try the kale side. It does work, it's just not perfect. Um peaceful, this is gonna bend and break over time. I'm gonna try it on this kale bolivia. That worked fine. I had some struggles with the cherry side. I used it with the JWK switch and a Yawk purple panda. Both of them were a little bit in, but the JWK tends to be a bit thin and the Yawk panda tends to be a bit thick, so that could contribute to it. I don't think that's worth $10. I'm frankly probably going to send this to my little brother or throw it away in the trash. <laughs> All right, so now we have a, I assume, Kalinsky hair brush. Lube brush, premium lube brush. Can I just do my usual lube brush spiel for a second? Why does everyone in their fucking mother? Why do they all do fucking double zero round tip brushes? Who the fuck is using round tip brushes to lube your stitches, and why? Why are you making your life harder? Why are Why are you using rounds? Who the fuck uses rounds? Nathan. <laughs> Wait, look how tiny that brush is. What? What switches are you lubing? Oh my god, it's gonna take like 10 years. You're literally just lubing the fucking cracks on your rails. Like, what? what is that? This isn't a bad brush. Most people sell this size of brush. <laughs> Why is your small shaming me, Sag? Look. Look. All I'm saying is it's tiny and you can do better. This looks nice. Is that aluminum? No, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's acrylic. Uh, so there's feet. Looks like, what is that, four, five, six? Six millimeter acrylic with three on either side? That's thick acrylic. These are big boys. I don't think this needs to be that deep. All right, so I'm assuming this goes here. There you go. I'm assuming that goes there. Kind of nifty. I wish it wasn't plastic. I'm assuming this should fit perfectly in one of these slots. Putting this aside, honestly, not terribly, how much is this? $35. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, all right, all right. It's, it's thick, it's a big boy. It's a lot of acrylic. The coil cable, honestly, is surprisingly good. As long as you're not like really into looking for something completely custom. Should we take a look at their cleaning kit that I didn't unbox? Cause I am a terrible streamer who forgets to unbox things. The stabs are screwing, right? Yes, but they're kind of poo poo doo doo. <laughs> Actually, should we unbox some stabs? This is made this made me laugh a lot. I feel bad for laughing. I don't want anybody to flame them for this. It's just really funny. Who okayed this? Um, so here we have the glorious goat stabilizers, the greatest of all time stabilizers. We're gonna open these. Again, marked for use in retail shelves. I have been told, you know, I think just about everybody who received these uh, messaged Glorious and was like, hey, this is actually like a problem that you need to fix ASAP because it can cause issues and potentially break your PCBs. Um, so just PS fucking A, um, don't use the metal washes that they include. Um, we tested them. Yes, they will short. Don't use these. Okay, um, the purpose of washers on the back of stabilizers is t <laughs> the, the pr <laughs> I can't with that straight face. You know, Glorious, I, I just wanna make completely clear, Glorious did a lot of things right. I think they fucking killed it considering they just dropped the ball in literally three places. This, uh, should have done some market research and not done something so similar to something somebody else had done. Not it's a little spendy. Um, the switch opener, not a huge fan of that. <laughs> and this is like the big one. So for those of you who don't know why I'm kind of laughing, um, I'm not laughing at them. I want to make that clear. It's just a little. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. The reason we use washers on the back of stabilizers is to insulate them so that you don't have bridges going across pads, so shorts don't happen. That can potentially break your PCB but more likely will simply cause keys to actuate that aren't actually being actuated. All right, the, the final and most important <laughs> unboxing is the clean, I might actually use this for my lenses. I assume this is just a lens cleaning kit that's been repackaged. Oh, there's like a cloth in here too. How much is this? Don't know how much this is. Um, but this is kind of nifty. Okay. That, that 
blows. Um, nice. And then the tiny brush. This is definitely just a, a repackaged branded lens cleaning kit, but I'm not mad at it. And then like a little microfiber cloth. Let's try this on the back. There we go. Fingerprints. Is, is it going to do anything? Take your bets, chat. A little bit. Ah, oh, I found my Rama switch puller. So we can do a proper comparison. So I actually bend my Rama switch pullers out a little bit, but you can actually tell they are different. So the glorious one is thinner, closer together, and also has a made in China stamp on the inside. Here's them from the side. I, I do think it was entirely coincidence that they're so similar. They, they just both branded and painted IC, IC pullers. Thank you so much, Glorious, for tuning in. And thank you again for sending me these products to show, to chat. Um, I know this is like the world's longest goodbye, but Gloria seriously deserves uh, a thank you for sending this to me so I can give you my opinion on it to you guys uh, and for allowing me to give my honest, unbiased opinion as well. I appreciate that sincerely uh, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.